it's me Anne, and I'm coming back to you with another video. Today's video is going to be a little different. It's just something that was kind of like bugging me and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a video about it. Um, before I get into the video, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and also do the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video, which it is nonstop November, so it will be every day of the week for the month. So let's get into it. Fashion Nova. Now I've been shopping with Fashion Nova for a little bit over a year and for the most part I never really had any issues. So I, pr I placed my first order on September 16, 2016. I'm at 10.07 and I got the email confirmation and then the next day at 10.28 a.m. I got my shipping notification. At this point it was what two day shipping with orders over $75 or more for free. So I'm like okay cool not a problem. So then on the 19th of September, I got a um, delivery exception saying that no one was at, at the business, but I was definitely there, but it's okay. I got the clothes and I was like, yeah, all right, I can, I can work with this. It's not bad. And you know, it's always good to save some coins and look cute. So I'm like, all right. Yeah. So my last order was in September of 2016. Some months went by. I didn't really order anything. Whatever. So July 24th, 2017, I ordered at 2.40 p.m. I got my confirmation. And the next day, July 25th, at 3.33 p.m., I got my ship shipping notification. All went well. I got my order. So then, here's when things started to get a little tricky. On August 15th, 2017, I placed an order with Fashion Nova at 3.10 p.m. At this point, I'm used to the next day getting the shipping confirmations and then two to three days after that getting my order. Now, it was August 17th and I didn't get any shipping confirmation, so I'm just kind of like, whoa, what's going on? And I had a little deadline because one of the outfits was for a particular event which was coming up. So I sent them an email and I got the automated response. And then, lo and behold, August 18th at 12.23 a.m., I got the um, shipping notification. Um, at this point, the items were not going to be delivered on time. They got delivered on August 22nd. Um, I'm so sorry, August 21st. It is what it is. So then on August 28th, despite the little debacle of not getting any response from customer service and getting my order a little late, in my opinion, I ordered something again. And this time, I ordered with express shipping one day which is if you order before um 1 p.m pacific time which is 4 p.m eastern time which is where i'm at it'll go out that day and you'll receive it the next day and this was august 28th at 407. can you please tell me why on august 28th at 5 19 p.m i was getting a response from my customer service inquiry from august 17th yeah but again, at this point, I was over it. The event went, it passed. I didn't even end up going. It is what it is. So now, let's get into what prompted me to make this video and what got me super, super upset. So I placed an order with Fashion Nova on October 25th at 11.02 a.m., okay? 11.02, which is about 8 a.m. Pacific time, okay? And I paid for the one-day shipping. I knew the following day I was going to be home um, because I had somewhere to go and I just I just needed a mental break, whatever. So on October 25th at 7.56 p.m., I got my shipping confirmation. So I'm like, all right, cool, my item shipped out, I'll get it tomorrow, this is not my first, you know, rodeo with them, like I know how it goes with express shipping, it's always on time, especially seeing I got the notification at 7.56 p.m. So I go to sleep. Wake up the next morning and I see an email from Fashion Nova, your order has a delivery exception. Now I woke up, it was 7 a.m. I knew no one tried to deliver a package to me at 7 a.m. Like, I highly doubt that. So I go and I track it and I open the email and it says right here, um, FedEx reported that your order blank has a delivery exception on October 25th, 2017 at 2221, which is 1021 p.m. Um, and the detail status says canceled by sender, right? But at the bottom it says please contact the courier if you have any questions regarding the delivery exception. So at this point I'm like, this has nothing to do with the courier, but you know what, I'm going to play ball. I call FedEx 
and you know they were very helpful they said you know they'll take my number and they'll call me back um they let me know that it was indeed canceled by the sender and perhaps the sender created a new label and just didn't inform me so at this point i'm just giving fashion over the benefit of the doubt but i said you know what let me cover my bases so on october 26th um after being home all day and like not seeing anything, you know, Fashion Nova. I said, I placed an order with Fashion Nova. I ordered from you guys all the time. I chose express shipping and received my tracking number on 1025. I woke up this morning, 1026, and received an email saying there was a delivery exception by FedEx and to contact them. Turns out you guys canceled the shipment. Why? Since it was canceled, where is my money? I needed those items for today. Okay? The very next day, Okay, which is October 27th at 10.28 a.m., I get an email saying, um, hey love, thank you for contacting Fashion Nova. We're very sorry for the confusion. It appears that you were given an incorrect FedEx tracking number initially. Stop. It wasn't incorrect. You guys knew that it was not going out that day, and that was that. But unfortunately for me, I got this tracking number too late. I would have A, made arrangements to stay home, to wait for my package, or managed to do something about it. I ended up emailing them back. And I said, thank you for a response, but this is unacceptable. I placed my order on Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern times, which means my order should have arrived yesterday. I have been shopping with Fashion Nova for over a year, and you guys have been pretty dependable on shipping. I stayed home all day yesterday waiting for the package that should have arrived with the outfit I planned to wear to the concert. Now you send me a tracking number to be delivered today when I'm not home. Furthermore, this package said it was delivered and left at the front door. There is no one home, I live by myself, but I have no package and it will be hours before I can check or have someone check for this package. I will be expecting a full refund from my order as I live in Brooklyn, New York and there is no way in hell a package left at the front door in plain sight will be home when I get there at 6 p.m. So now on October 29th, okay, two days after I email her, two days, this is what I get to contact FedEx and all this good stuff. So I'm just like confused. This is your fault. If you ship the package on time, I would have been there to receive it. So we go back and forth because they're not taking their responsibility. So then I write another email and this is what it says. Now clearly I don't have the package and I paid $15 and it was two day shipping. So something's not adding up. It's like, give me back my money. I have no package, it's not my fault. No one told you to send it a day later. All right. So this was the customer service response to me and this is what pissed me off completely at this point because this is not my fault, but okay. Great, right? It gets better. Before I call my bank, which is what I was going to do from the beginning, I said, you know what? I'm gonna play ball. Let me contact FedEx. It gets so good, guys. Guess what? Fashion Nova omitted my floor number on the package, and I live in a multifamily dwelling. It's a two-family home with a basement, so there, there's more than one bound. So of course the courier seeing the address and no floor number and his lazy self decides, you know what, I'm just gonna leave the package here because I don't know which floor it goes to. So at this point, I'm pissed. Especially after the, the email, saying it's the courier's responsibility. So then I write an email to Fashion Nova. You are very responsible. I spoke to FedEx and Fashion Nova did not put the floor number on the package. In my order, I wrote number two, Brooklyn, New York. Fashion Nova omitted the floor number, which is what led the driver to simply leave the package at the front door. There are three different bells at the house. The lack of customer service here is very appalling and I'll be contacting my bank. All right. So at this point, I got them. But here's what's kind of like bothering me about this whole situation. Why are you treating your customers this way? Especially when it was originally your fault. And then come to find out it's even more your fault because you didn't even write the complete address on the label. 
Now, if I order something and at 7.50 something p.m. my time, okay, you send me a tracking number, why is it at 10 something, which is what, 12 o'clock my time, are you sending me a cancellation? I thought office hours were from 9 to 6 or whatever time it is. You're still shipping orders at this time, which is fine. You got to do what you got to do to keep up. But at the same token, I paid $15 for express shipping. Not only did you not ship it the same day as you were supposed to to arrive the next day, and you reshipped the package on the day that I was supposed to receive it and failed to send me the tracking number at this point. So I had no idea that a package was on its way to me until you sent me the tracking number at 10.30 and I didn't see it until the package was delivered. So, at this point, how is it my fault? Why do I have to contact FedEx to find out where the package went when you didn't send the package on time and on top of that, you did not write the complete address on the label? Yeah, Fashion Nova, I understand that you have all these customers and all these orders and business is booming. You have what, over nine million followers on Instagram, eight, nine million? Great, make your coin. However, it sucks that I spent my money and I made a very, very valid point and valid case that every step of the way you did things incorrectly. You didn't ship it on time. Then you didn't send me the replacement tracking number at its, in a timely manner. Then you wrote the incorrect address, incomplete address on the label. and. Despite all these facts, Fashion Nova refused to simply refund me my money. Now, as someone who has had an online business, I always try to not call my bank. That's the last step because I know how much chargebacks suck, okay? I always want to give you the opportunity to just correct the issue, you know? But this, in my opinion, was too much. Too, 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 too much. So for me, Fashion Nova, you tried it. I will not be purchasing anything else from you because I don't think that you deserve my money. Very simply put, it's okay, I understand things happen, but you have to take responsibility for when those things happen. It's like once they have your money, they don't want to let go of it. It's like how many things can you do wrong before you're like, okay, maybe I should just give her her money back. Come on now, Fashion Nova, you gotta do better. This ends my little mini rant. I'll see you guys in the video. Thanks for watching.